Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about some of the products that I've been loving for the month of September. And as I look at my products, these are all either a drugstore and or affordable. The two affordable products are just some that I haven't seen at the drugstore and I'll explain them later. The first product that's affordable, not drugstore, are actually before I forget. I was like, let me mention these because I always forget to mention lashes. Lashes that I've been loving. And in general, I've been loving the Coco lashes. I've ordered a couple different ones. And the newest ones that I have been loving are the ones in the style goddess that I'm wearing on my eyes. I love these so much that I, uh, these are about to go any moment now. I'm going to have to throw these away, but I'm hanging on to them for dear life. More so, especially because I went to the side to try to go order some and they were sold out. And, you know... That is rightfully so because these are amazing lashes. I have been liking, you know, maybe the, you know, crazier lashes, the larger lashes lately, but I've just kind of grown into them. I definitely kind of eased my way into lashes. Um, had I started off with these, I probably would not have right off the bat worn these, but I've just gotten so comfortable with lashes. Like, okay, I can definitely wear these, and I love these so much. As I said before, Coco lashes have very comfortable lash bands. They're really easy to kind of work with, even initially. Just kind of um, put them around the brush just to kind of give them a nice shape so you can just pop them onto your lash and the more that you wear them I feel like the easier it is sometimes I prefer like worn in lashes rather than a fresh pair but then you like the fresh pair so I don't know but I love these Coco lashes and goddess these run for maybe like seven eight like no more than ten dollars you can find these on ladymoss.com I'll link it down below and I've definitely just been using these for most a majority of my tutorials lately so I'll link some down below where I wear these lashes but every time in photos and stuff a lot of people ask me what lashes I'm wearing and it's usually cocoa lashes and recently it's been the ones in goddess my other affordable product that I have been loving, this is great if you do freelance makeup and or in general, if maybe like you just travel or just to have, I feel like even personally, it's just kind of nice to have in your room. Um, this is the Brush Folio. So this is something made by Priscilla Ono. She's a makeup artist and they have two different versions. I got the light version, which is only about $20 and then they have the other version, I think it's like $40, but light I think does me just well. It's just materials, more of a nylon material, but I'm fine with that. But I just love that you can kind of pull the string and adjust it so that your brushes are standing. I love that so much. It makes such a huge difference. And you can just put all your brushes. And when you kind of want to pack it away, you just kind of undo this. And you close it and it shuts like a little book. And if you don't have the brushes on the top, then you can like fold them down and into a little square. But this is so great, especially because sometimes when I do freelance makeup, I really don't know how much space I'm going to have in like people's homes. I love it when they have a big table that I can really spread everything out. But even when I have so much space, this is just something where I can kind of just have all my brushes out on there and I can just kind of pick them out and instead of just having it on the table having to sift through and find the ones that you need this has made such a this is the best $20 investment I have made so far there's been a couple of other ones but definitely for my freelance kit I have been loving it. I just have everything right there where I can see it I definitely want to get a second one especially when I do larger groups and then just easy to travel with as well as if you're someone who travels a lot sometimes in hotel rooms or if you get Airbnbs um, and especially if you go with another makeup addict friend and you both have all your makeup sprawled out and you kind of want to find out your brushes and stuff this is something really really great and easy to travel with so definitely $20 well spent and if you are a makeup artist if you um, kind of apply for discounts for like Nigel's Beauty, Namie's, all those stores you can get this at a discounted price as well so you can get it even cheaper so definitely I think it's worth the investment check it out if you have let me know how much you love it because I bet you do right the next product that I have been loving, I feel like I always kind of like bring this out around the fall time. It is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is the Milani Bra... Ooh. Another product that I have been loving, a couple of these products are like shop my stash. Just I haven't been buying too many new products. Not too many new products have been popping up from the drugstore specifically that I've been wanting to try out. So I've been going through my own makeup collection, especially since you have so much makeup, you got to try to not play favorites and, you know, just kind of move around and use different products and not just the same ones. It's really, really hard though. But one that I always kind of go back to in the fall time or just in general, um, a nice neutral blush with some color, some like oranges, berries in there is the Milani Baked Blush in the color Berry Amore. I think this is a really beautiful blush. Really great neutral everyday blush but especially for like dramatic looks. I'm wearing this on my cheeks today. I think it goes really really well. It's not too much especially when you have a lot going on in the eyes. I did a tutorial on this look. I will link that down below. It's coming on after this video. 
but I love this so much and I loved baked blushes and Milani does Blake blah, blah, does baked blushes really really well especially if you're dry skin you're really gonna love a baked blush if you don't like matte and it just makes you look kind of pottery a baked blush is definitely a way to go it gives a nice sheen to your cheeks so definitely been loving the Milani berry blush I've been reaching for this so much sometimes when I do a tutorial I was like okay we need to switch it up and use something else for a tutorial but on a day-to-day -day basis I've been reaching for this again a new product that I did pick up for the month of September. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And I've heard some really good things about this primer. And every time I've gone to Ulta, I've been like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not, every single time. And finally, I was like, you know what? I was just one of those, like, you know, just throw in the bag type of day. Sometimes you have those days. And I was like, whatever. Let's just try it out, check it out, see how we like it. And I have really been liking this primer so much because I just like the way that it glides onto the skin. It doesn't have a very silicone feeling. Um, it has, I don't want to say like slippery, but for like dry skin, it just like, it really gives you a nice smooth hydrating finish and doesn't dry like um, matte or it doesn't make my foundation kind of, you know, um, look really, really, uh, what's the word? It doesn't make my foundation like ball up or, you know, I don't know if you've had that experience if you have dry skin um, with certain primers that they're a little bit too mattifying, a little bit too drying for your skin. But I just love the way that this feels and I love the way that my foundation sits on it. So definitely I is, I is. So definitely for dry skin, I do approve of this primer. A couple of liquid lipsticks that I have been loving for the month of September are the new limited edition More Matte Lip Creams by Milani. So they have their permanent line, which I did lip swatches for all of those. And then they came out with some limited edition, beautiful limited edition colors for the falls. They have some burgundies, they have some berries, they have some beautiful nudes for like all different skin tones. I will link that video down below with the three colors that I have been loving. The first one is the one that I'm wearing on my lips and this one is in the shade Honey. And I'll I'll do swatches of all of them just so you can kind of see <sighs> honey is such a beautiful nude I think this is gonna complement so many different skin zones I love this one so so much honey it's like kind of like has some mauve esque tones in there um, and then the next one that I've been loving is sweetie this is kind of like my perfect nude this is definitely a lot nudier than honey so as you can see, I'm definitely see some like peach, uh, peach undertones on Sweetie. And then for me, it's kind of hard to find like a really nice burgundy for my skin tones. Because depending on your skin tone, some burgundies that might look nicer on darker skin tones. And they pull out the reds on those skin tones and the browns on me. It might definitely pull out like darker, deeper browns because my skin tone is a little bit darker. So this is a really great shade where it has like those browns, but it has like some red undertones on there. So I really, really like that. This color, honestly, would go with every single skin tone. I think if you like those kind of like burgundy, maroony, like brick red shades, I love it so much. So these three, I have been loving so much for the month of September. And it's October I'm filming this and I've been diving in diving into the other shades. And we've got some more favorites for the month of October. But in general, check these out they say limited edition hopefully maybe they'll make them permanent like they did their other products but in case you haven't gotten your hands on them check it out i'll link down the lip swatches of all 10 shades that i did down below you might find some other shades you are really going to love and the formula is really great another product that i had previously purchased but i really wanted to revisit because i was like you know what i really did love that product and this is the wet and wild contouring palette and i've just been loving this so much i was just like you know what i think this is probably one of my favorite drugstore highlight and contouring palettes i have mine in the shade dulce de leche so this is better for like light skin tones light medium ish skin tones and they have something better for like medium to deeper skin tones um but i love the highlight shade and i love the contour shade they actually just reformulated these and i will link down the review and demo with some of the like new and reformulated wet and wild products and i definitely i like the original one but this one was even like smoother buttier butterier and easier to blend on the skin than the other one the other one was already like really great so this is like a step up these are about five dollars and i yeah i gotta say this is probably my favorite drugstore and highlighting um, powder. These are matte, so I love to highlight underneath the eyes and I like to contour the cheekbones with these shades. I definitely will probably have to pick up a backup, especially when I try to do just like all drugstore tutorials. This is a must. So my next product, this is a brush I've had in my collection, but I just started using it because the brush that I love to set my under eyes with is the Real Techniques Setting Brush. I like to set my under eye highlight with that. And I was actually kind of dirty.
dirty and that's like my that's definitely like my a team my starter lineup brush you definitely have your favorite brushes like if you have to travel these are the brushes you take with you and that's definitely one of them but it was dirty and I was like oh I really shouldn't use it I, I have all these other brushes I can rotate off before I have to clean all my brushes usually I have enough brushes so I can go like a couple different rounds before I have to clean them all um and so one that I decided is you know let me you know kind of revisit this one check it out this is the elf this is actually their blush a brush but I like how it's kind of tapered so it fits perfectly underneath the eye just to kind of like you grab some matte highlighting powder and just kind of like press it on and I love the size of it so if you feel like maybe the $7 Real Techniques brush might be a little bit, you know, too over your budget, especially if you want to get multiple brushes, I love e.l.f. Studio Line brushes. And this one has definitely been one of my favorites. I think now it's kind of like tied maybe neck and neck with that one. Um, I think it's just great and just fits perfectly underneath the eye. So if you need a new setting brush, I think I like this. I like it for blush. I like it, but I love it to set underneath the eyes. So those are my favorite products for the month of September. Let me know if you guys have loved any of these products as well as what are some of your favorites. Maybe something you haven't seen me mention that maybe I can try out, test out, review, and see if I love it just as much. Let's, you know, kind of trade tips here. Let's help each other out. Um, make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.